Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly singles love reading for Scorpio. How are you guys, Scorpio? I hope all's well. Let's see what your overall energies are. Single Scorpios in their love life. What do they need to know? Single Scorpios. Oh my goodness looks like something you're wishing for someone's about to reveal themselves here <laughs> someone's gonna take off that mask they're a little cautious but it has to do with someone's intentions someone's gonna reveal their intentions and I do see this a lovely energy of home so this has to do with home it could be someone who feels like home so, but this, I love this being right here because this really shows uh, that someone's about to take off the mask and reveal their true self, their intentions. Okay. Mm hmm. This is somebody here who's very wise. I see a little nest egg. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you've got a person here who's stable. But they have, they're going to reveal those intentions. Let's see what those intentions are. Scorpio, there we go. You got two. This one came out first. Yeah, you got love here. And we have someone with a night of emotion. Somebody wants to ask you out here, but this person's intentions is to express themselves. Mm-hmm. They want to ask you out here. This person's intentions have to do with home. And I do feel this is somebody here who's uh, definitely in their feelings. I feel they're, and it's likely going to reveal some feelings, something emotional, because they're taking off the mask. But they are a little cautious. They're a little careful what they wish for. They're just hoping for the best here. Yeah. So saying to trust your intuition. Now, this is someone who may be a secret too, keeping their feelings to themselves, but their intentions are to express themselves. This is somebody, you know, wanting to explore this connection, wanting to get to know you. Yeah. Very, very nice energy. Ace of Inspiration. Yeah, there's definitely an attraction here. A passionate new beginning. So you can see. Now, this is somebody who probably wants to know your intentions as well. Because I feel it has to do with love, whether you're attracted to them. So, But they definitely are someone wanting to ask you out. Unless you've already been out with this person. But there, this is that secret. Something they've been keeping to themselves. I feel like you probably already know. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it could be the other way around. And then we have the magician. Yeah, they're going to manifest this. This is someone who has everything they need, the house, the home, a little nest egg. Mm -hmm. So I do see communication, but I feel it really has to do with that physical attraction. Okay, they're definitely, this is about love. This is about two people coming together, uh, a passionate new beginning. They're trying to manifest this. Beautiful, yeah. They have everything they need, everything. There's just someone here who's, look at this beautiful change. So this is abundance. This has to do with, it's sort of like with this energy, revealing themselves and this abundance. Because I do feel there's been a lot of growth here. But it is somebody who's been kind of, if you're seeing them, they're already going with the flow. But it has to do with this change. So, and it's very positive. I see, like I say, I feel they have a nest egg. They have a home. They have everything they need but love. And I see the chariot. So, now, this is an energy of somebody here taking control of the situation. This is person's intentions is to take control. I do feel this is someone who speaks truth. They're going to reveal those intentions. But I do feel this person's, because it looks like you're manifesting each other here, even if it's kind of behind the scenes. You know, but I feel like I say, they also want to know your intentions. Now, I feel like this is somebody very determined here. They're very passionate about what it is they want. Mm-hmm. They are definitely, you know, I'm going to tell you too about this person. This is, I really like their energy in a lot of ways because what I see as a person here, not only are they taking control, they're in control of their emotions. So they're not ruled by them. They're not somebody who's overly emotional. They're not going to love bomb you. Um, but they are taking the lead. They are taking control because they want to get this going. Um, 
Uh, and it, this could be somebody who's put on the brakes at some point, but you can see with the world, it's growth. So I feel this is someone who wants to keep moving forward. They want to keep moving forward here. Yeah. Tell me all, what else Scorpio needs to know about this person. I see Cancer Pisces energy here and some Gemini energy as well. Little fire, yeah. So this is somebody who will pick you up, take you home. They're going to take you on a date. This is someone who will always pick you up and take you home. And you can see this. And I do think this is somebody who eventually will invite you to their home too. They're going to show you kind of like who they are. But I feel this is somebody, their friends, their family here. I do see positive news. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're going to have a few dates with this person probably before they invite you to their home. But their intentions, I feel, are good here. And I do see this constant movement forward, a lot of growth and abundance. Yeah, you have an emperor here. <laughs> this person has an emperor energy. Very, very nice. And this could be a masculine Scorpio, just so those of you watching uh, see that energy as well, because often the emperor can be a masculine Scorpio. It could be an Aries energy, but I really feel like you're dealing with someone with a lot of water, a lot of emotional energy. And I do feel they are a person who, and they're, they are cautious. They're careful what they wish for. I feel they've just been keeping their feelings to themselves or their intentions. So you probably know if you trust your intuition. I know you can be very intuitive, Scorpio. You probably know this person already finds you attractive. I feel there's a spark. So this is where that energy of revealing. <laughs> yeah, let's have a look at the lovers. What can you expect from this person? Yeah, see the woman. See, this is an energy of, of love. See, they're offering something. There's going to be a communication. They're manifesting this. Now, this could be another person because I do feel there's people here, but it's positive. It's friends, friends who are like family, you see. So I feel this person has that soul family. Yeah, I feel their friends, family are important to this person as well. So this could be another person, but it has to do with an offer and opportunity. It's like the Ace of Pentacles, but it's saying to look at all the details of this, looking at the details of this communication here. Very nice. So it's solid, reliable. This person will show you they're stable, they're reliable. So if they make a date, you can rely on this person to show up. This is not somebody who will, you know, they're not wishy-washy. They're not going to, you know, talk to you, communicate, get something going, and then change their mind. Because it's this movement towards love. Yeah, it could be somebody who's been holding a torch, too. For some of you, this very well could be someone who's been holding a torch for you. So it's often someone preparing themselves, you see. Uh, maybe even financially, because this is that movement, that abundance. This is not somebody who's going to change their mind either. They're in control. Look at that, the tower, something sudden here. Yeah, as you see the Queen of Swords, this is yourself trusting your own inner knowing, more than likely Queen of Swords. Now, this could be someone giving someone advice too. Okay, maybe this is yourself giving advice to friends. <laughs> we know you like to do that sometimes because you're wise, you trust your inner knowing. But you see the Tower Six of Pentacles. You're going to be shocked and surprised what this person has to say. More than likely, it's just something that will happen suddenly where you'll get this communication. Tell me about the wishing well. Yeah, look at that. Something you've probably been wanting too. Look, Queen of Pentacles. It's stable. It's a partner. Someone who's stable, reliable. Look at that. I see flowers, some kind of message. This could come through another person. Not that the other person's going to send you flowers, but you could, somebody here could be helping this person uh, connect. And it, I mean, for some of you, it could be yourself here. Like I say, we know you're pretty good, intuitive, you giving somebody advice. But if it's not yourself, there's someone else. Some, giving this person advice too. That's what I feel because it's this sudden shock surprise. It's very positive because I feel there's flowers or some kind of a gift with the bouquet. Look at that. They want to connect. Look at the way these cards are just flying out here. They, they're just, they, it's like they got a mind of their own. They're King of Swords. This person's also wife, trusting their inner knowing. They want to connect with you, but it has to do with that spark, that attraction. So this is somebody here who is very wise as well. Look at that. See, they're very wise, but they're going to reveal their intentions. 
Very, very nice. Yeah, I, you know, honestly, I feel here with the King and Queen of Swords, um, some of you have already connected with this person. You've already had a conversation. Like I say, they could be holding a torch or maybe both of you. But the interesting thing is there is an attraction, but I see friends. So I do see somebody, possibly a friend of a friend, helping this person, giving advice to do with this communication, with something solid, asking someone on a date, sending flowers. See, it's an energy of this person starting to reveal their intentions. But it, like I say, it's likewise. They want to know your intentions or your plans possibly here. Yeah, you've got a gentleman here. I mean, this person's manifesting this. They have everything they need but love. So they are a gentleman. So this is, you may even have a conversation with someone. This person I feel is a perfect gentleman. They're wise. They trust their inner knowing. They speak truth. So if this person tells you they find you attractive, they find you attractive. Okay, this isn't someone who's going to, tell you what you want to hear. They say it just like it is. Very clear communication, okay? Straight up. Very nice. But I feel it's also your own intentions <laughs> or just how you feel about them if you find them attractive. But I do see this friendship, this uh, connection, the two of you. kind of. It's like you're both going in the same direction here too. Let's have a look at the world. Really, really nice energy, Scorpio. Let's have a look at the world. Yeah, so this is somebody here has been keeping feelings probably to themselves, not really showing their their true self because it has to do with you know, more than likely curiosity and wanting to know. So I this is where I feel. It's like you know this person probably through other people or they're in your social circle. But I feel, or maybe, you know, social media as well. But it has to do with the well, replenishing, change. So this is definitely a person here who's, just kind of holding back for the time being. They're just doing some thinking. They're analyzing the situation. They want to be clear. They want to know exactly, you know, um, where this is going to go. But I really like it because it's this constant movement forward. Yeah, this person's their own anchor. See solid emotions. They've gone deep within their feelings. They're very in control of their feelings. And Emperor, they're not ruled by them. Yeah, this is somebody who has structure, self-discipline, they're intelligent, because uh, it, it, it's part of this emperor energy. But this person is, they're usually someone who, they could be a boss or something, used to being in control, but they're taking control of this, you see, they're moving forward. I, I feel this is someone who will introduce you to their friends and family fairly quickly, but you see this person single, they have everything they need, but they don't have love. You look at that, this is someone who is capable of wearing their heart on their sleeve, although it's not generally their style, but you can see, they take care of themselves, they look good. I feel this is, you know, with the Nine of Pentacles, they're very um, solid. This person's solid. They're, you know, they're a very grounded person. If they make a commitment, they'll stick to it. So this is really, really nice. Let's have a look at them. Anything else you need to know about this person's intentions? Anything else you need to know about their intentions? Yeah, they want to get close. See, they want to get close to you. They want to talk to you. So it's taking a closer look. You see, they're taking a closer look. It's both of you. Maybe you've looked at each other. There was a little spark or attraction. So like I say, they could be getting somebody here that you know in that social circle, a friend of a friend, to help you connect. Very possible. They could be reaching out to someone to asking about you. You know, because I see something about flowers. Maybe they want to know where you live, your address, things like that. So they can send you something here to get it's because it's about movement. You see, it's about movement here. It's about making that move. And I'll tell you, this is not this is a gentleman. This per, even if you're alone with this person, they won't make a move on you until they feel that you know you're on the same page here. That you're you're gonna talk, you're gonna share some things. They want to share things with you. Yeah, it's all about cl very clear, honest, open communication. It has to do with truth. So very, very nice. Let's have a look at this chariot energy for Scorpio. Yeah, see, this is someone here. See, look, King of Wands. So they're very, these are all the energies this person's going through. They're very determined to take control, to take the lead. They will take the lead. Let them take the lead, okay? 
Because they could even be getting advice from somebody in this social circle, someone who's, you know, saying just speak the truth, tell them exactly what your intentions are, or just ask what it is you need to ask. But Because this is all about listening, communication, thinking. But this is somebody here clearing things up. See, they've moved away from a situation. So there's been a little bit of a, a dark cloud or a little mystery, things that are hidden that need to be revealed. So it has to do with this person revealing their intentions. See, there's movement, constant movement forward about this person making a move. They're very determined here. They know what they want. And they want to go for this. And there we have the star. See, it's beautiful. This is someone who's released things that no longer serve. I feel they don't have any baggage. It's possible they had a little dark cloud hanging over them at some point. And it could be to do with another person where they put on the brakes. But they're definitely taking a closer look. They want to get close. They want to talk. They want to communicate. I feel more than anything, it's it's just that energy of getting getting you alone, to talk to you alone. You know, sort of like detaching from everybody else. But I feel with the Six of Cups, they are someone who's longing for love. See, it's everything they could ever want, too. I see friends, family, soul, family taking you on a date. I do feel this person wants to. They're likely going to be very quick of introducing you to their family and friends, if you already have. And I feel like you're already kind of in a social circle or you know someone they know. Because there's this woman, which could be yourself, but I feel it's somebody here. It has to do with someone revealing their intentions, and their intentions are love, to connect, to bond. See, it's about two people who come together. It's about bringing two people together here. Let's have a look at the emperor. What's this emperor want to do here? Let's see what comes up for home. It has to do with home. I feel they want to know where you live. They want to send flowers. I feel they're reaching out to someone. It's how they're going to make that first move because they're just kind of going with the flow here, just checking things out, I feel. The Emperor. Why is this here for Scorpio? Yeah, see, it's someone's history roots. They want to know things. See, they're not clear about... You know, your life, your history, C7 of Cups, they're fantasizing, romanticizing here too. I feel they're already kind of in their head making plans because it's an energy of thinking everything through. But they're very confident about this. They're very passionate about this. They really want this. <laughs> oh, yes, they do. But I see it's an energy of someone putting down roots, history. See, they want to know more about you. So I feel... And when somebody wants to know more about someone, it's because they want to go about things the right way. See, it has to do with being solid, reliable, you know. And this is, I feel, getting reliable information. So, I mean, I don't feel like this person's digging in or, or I feel there's a lot of respect. Okay, they have a lot of respect for you, I feel. Mm-hmm. But it has to do, and that's another thing. See, they're, they're, they want to know things, but like I say, I feel they're going to ask you. Okay, they're going to ask you. I don't feel like they're asking people about your whole history, maybe a little bit, because there is a lack of, you know, clarity here. But they're very, very determined here. This is a lovely energy. It's some Aquarius energy where this is somebody here who, and I, you know, the interesting thing is, is I feel... I mean, this person finds you physically attractive. And the star with Aquarius energy is often somebody who takes care of themselves, looks good. You know, somebody a little bit trendy. Um, yeah, so like I say, a little bit on the sexy side there too, which... <laughs> But, you know, this person it has to do with history. See, they're romanticizing, fantasizing. I feel they're just sort of making plans. But what this person does is they want to put down roots. You see, they want to put down roots. It's the tree. History. Yeah, it's sort of like this developing energy. But, yeah, this is somebody here who... You know, maybe you have a history with this person or you have friends and there's history, but they're trying to find things out. They're looking for clarity because they're just kind of sitting there, you know, getting ready to make this move because they're looking for more clarity. I feel it's where you live. Mm hmm. I do because I feel they want to send flowers or a gift. Tell me about home. Oops. 
Yeah, see, this is a message from the heart. They want to ask you out, take you out. They will eventually introduce your friends and family, but I feel they'll introduce you to friends first, probably go out in public. See, there's, this isn't a person who's going to try to keep you a secret or anything like that. But I wouldn't be surprised if this person wants to. Once things get moving, they want to just keep things between the two of you to kind of see how it goes. But I do feel this is a message from the heart. See, something very heartfelt. There could be a message, maybe with flowers. See, but this is the dating card. This is about this person taking action. Yeah, I feel they're a gentleman. You can be alone with this person. I don't think you need to worry about this person making any moves on you or making you feel uncomfortable because they, they also have self-respect, self-worth, but they, they, they move in an in a energy that's very respectful. But they have released anything that no longer serves them. So I feel this is somebody here who's, who's um, emotionally healthy, mature, I feel too. But I, I like this. This person holds you in very high regard. There's no doubt about that, see? And it could be maybe you've already had a date with this person. There's some kind of history here of self-worth. So I really like this. They may want to know if, if anyone you've been dating or it has to do with their own dating history where they're still clearing things up, clearing things out. But I feel it's more about this person taking control, looking for clarity before they make a move. Yeah, see, this is somebody here too. Look at that. So they could be at a distance, possibly. But I feel this is energy of the two of you coming together, kind of detaching from everyone else, spending time alone, getting to know each other. It's it's an energy of putting down those roots. It has to do with laying that foundation. But there's the Ten of Pentacles. See, they're stable. Somebody who's very stable. They may want to know about, you know, things that you do for work. The ship is often e-commerce, things like that, but it is movement. So you can see three. It's about making that move. This is one of these people who's kind of at some point likely given up hope of connecting with somebody who's, you know, kind of fits in that social circle, you know, friends and family. But I feel it's important to this person who they are with fits in with that soul family. I really do. I feel it's really important to them. Um, yeah, I mean, I feel they have, they hold their friends in high regard. I feel there's a lot of respect. But this is somebody who is very respectful, very much a gentleman. Yeah, look at that. This is a person who's definitely left things behind. Yeah, very nice. I feel it's really important too, that self-respect, self-worth, not uh, rushing into things. Because I do feel this is someone, if, put it this way, if you're a feminine energy here, this is obviously an energy of the masculine and you were to rush into a situation with this person, something physical, they probably wouldn't like that because they look for that self-respect, self-worth, you see, but they definitely hold you in very high regard. If you've dated this person, they see that history. I wouldn't doubt if you've dated this person at some point or maybe there was the want to, maybe it never, it never got off the ground. But they are definitely someone who's thinking a lot about you. They can't stop thinking about you. I feel there's a lot of talk um, here with their friends, you know. Because like I say, I feel like you fit in that social circle. But it's a, you know, the key. The key is clear communication. The key is clearing out anything from the past before making a move. Let's have a look at the tree. One more on that tree. Yeah, see, there they are. Yeah, you might see this person as your main person here, the man. But this has to do with somebody wearing their heart on their sleeve. See, it's a message from the heart. It's going to be heartfelt. I feel this person's emotionally mature, uh, very much so. They're not. Con I don't feel they're controlling at all. Um, I actually feel this is someone who, like I, I do see this energy of um, them taking the lead, but they're not controlling. But what they're controlling is their emotions. Like that's where I feel there's that little bit of energy of having to stay in control of those that emotional energy. But they're offering you this cup, this emotion. It's something from the heart. Like I say, I almost feel like you're going to get it. They're trying to find out where you live. Um, they might be driving around, you know. Uh, if you have a history with this person, going to some place you live. But whatever it is, they're very, very determined for this to succeed. They're just taking the lead. They're taking control. So they're, this is somebody here who, well, probably a little old school rules. But tell me more about this person, this gentleman. See, they're manifesting. They have everything they need. 
Mm hmm I really feel like this person, you know, there's someone who's very capable, you know, very handy, like kind of the jack of all trades, but they're definitely an emperor, stable. I don't know, maybe they own a car dealership. I see cars, maybe they own homes. Um, but yeah, like I feel, they have a lot of abundance here. Tell me more about this gentleman. What does Scorpio need to know? Yeah, see, this is someone who's left something behind. You see, they have left something behind. You see, but this is somebody here searching. This is someone who's been searching, searching for the one, the right person. And that's where I feel. This is someone who's, you know, obviously dated a few people, but they can't seem to connect with somebody who's right. And it's likely someone who fits with their friends and family. I feel it's important to them. Okay. I feel it's really important to this person. The key is being able to get along with their friends and family to kind of fit in. Because I feel they spend time with these people. They may travel with them, holiday with them, you know. Yeah. Let's have another look at that tower. I just want to see if it can reveal. Yeah. See, it has to do with making a move. See, it's about movement, forward movement. This person's moving forward. They've left something behind. But to me, it feels more like... This is someone who's been searching, longing for love and searching for the right person. So, but I feel like the search is just about over because of that closer look, that connection, getting close. Yeah, see, look at that. See, they hold you in very high regard, Scorpio. If you are, you know, the feminine's watching. If you're the masculine, this could be yourself. Okay. Now, the Empress is often open. This is somebody who's uh, stable. See, we got an emperor and empress here. This is someone who's been looking for their empress, their goddess. Mm -hmm. Somebody who will, you know, like I say, a lot of, um, and it's also whether it's mutual. I feel like they're trying to find out if, if you feel the same, if it's mutual, because I feel something's already happened. There's already been this spark, this attraction. But I feel it has to do with needing to talk, to communicate. I feel this person's trying to find out where you live. I, that's what I feel this is, searching for this. Because it has to do with manifesting the information to talk, to communicate. Yeah, very nice. But they are definitely looking for that Empress energy. And I feel they want to get close. They want to get close. They want to talk to you. Yeah, beautiful. And I feel it has to do with that emotional connection as well. Like that heartfelt communication. So beautiful. Tell me about the anchor. See, this is someone stable. See, they may be hearing you're stable, you're grounded, you're single, you look out for yourself, you look good. Like, this is like everything they could ever want. You see, everything they've ever wanted. Wow. Tell me more about the bouquet. You know, constant forward movement, a lot of growth, financial growth, prosperity. This person's ready for change, too. It does look like they've moved on from someone possibly, or it's maybe they know that you have. But it, to me, it just, it feels with this energy, it's just change, change, keep moving, keep moving. Yeah, it's like the flow of information. Yeah, see, starting something new, happiness and joy. I feel they're going to send you some flowers. They're going to do something to make you happy. But you can see this person's happy. They're high vibrational. They're very positive. So there's that draw, that attraction. To, see, it's what, what you put out there is what you're attracting is the same. You see, that's what's happening with this person. So I do feel like you're probably very similar in a lot of ways. They could be a Scorpio, uh, but I do see, you know, Leo, Cancer, Pisces. Um, definitely Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. A lot of emotional energy. I feel this is somebody who is more um, someone who kind of keeps a lot of that emotional energy to themselves. They're not somebody who, you know, they're not going to love bomb you, put it that way, okay? Because it comes with the Knight of Cups. They're offering you an invitation. I feel this is somebody, and I wouldn't even surprise if this person invites you to their home and cooks for you. But it has to do with all to do with family, home, the foundation, putting down those roots, everything they could ever want here. Yeah, see, it's about harmony, commitment. This is somebody who's definitely not, there. there's no fear of commitment. This person's intentions are marriage and commitment. So you can see harmony. I feel they have friends who are married. I feel this is someone who likely wants the same thing. 
Yeah, look at that. Everything this person could want here. Justice and harmony. Someone who's just right. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be quite shocked and surprised. Because I do see sudden shock, surprise, sudden happiness. Yeah, They're, it's where they just reveal themselves, their intentions, is to date you and court you. I really feel this person's just communicating with someone. I'm trying to figure it. Yeah, so I don't know if this is yourself or someone. This is someone giving someone advice. Yeah, I feel giving someone advice. See, someone's telling this person to send flowers, uh, to, you know, know what they want before they make a move, to be very positive, happy, you see, because it has to do with this person revealing themselves. And it has, see, the, because the high priestess is there, it has to do with being open, starting things off on the right foot, see, with the Ace of Pentacles, planting the seed, building a foundation. So it's about maybe being friends first and connecting. So I really like this. It does look like there's someone in that. So it could be somebody with Libra in their chart, you know, maybe even Gemini, somebody here giving someone advice about this. So I really like it. But one thing, too, I can see, we know the Empress is very balanced. Uh, the Empress has a lot of abundance, has a lot to give. Someone who could be generous, um, kind and compassionate, but it's a person who generally a very sexy, very sensuous energy too. But I, and this is how this what this person's seeing. See, they want to get close. They want to get to know you more. But I feel before they reveal those their true intentions or their true feelings or motive here is to get you alone. They want to talk to you alone. I don't think this is somebody who wants to talk to you with people around. Okay. Like I say, very, you know, someplace very quiet, I feel here. But and we also know the Empress is no pushover. So somebody may be telling this person that you speak your mind, you speak truth. See, it's about speaking truth. Just tell someone how you feel. You want to get things going. Because I see this happiness here. Yeah, very nice. I, this person's just kind of grounding themselves. Look at that, a whole new cycle. So this is that windfall of abundance, good luck and right timing. See, it's about the timing. So I feel they want to time something just right. So that is interesting. But you can see there's a whole new cycle here. And I do see, you know, I do get this vibe of that traditional energy of, you know, the, like all the cards together combined are giving this person, like I say, they're a gentleman. They act like a gentleman, you know. I do feel they speak truth. They're honest, open. They're like an open book. Yeah, see, they want to talk. They, you can see the energy flowing here. See, there's constant movement. I see having a few dates. This person's going to, you know, go through that courting phase. But I don't think this is going to be one of those courting phases that take a really long time because it's just this constant movement. But it's about this person making a move and doing it right, doing it at the right time. See, something romantic here. They're planning something romantic, but not overly so. Like for the first time kind of energy. Yeah, sort of easing their way into it and just seeing how you feel. If you feel the same and they get that vibe, then they're going to be more and more romantic. And eventually they're going to offer you their heart, you see. So beautiful energy. I really hope this... You know, this person just comes forward here. You might know who this is. Yeah, I feel that's what I feel. I feel like some of you already know. I mean, it could be even yourself. Maybe you're asking a friend because <laughs> it could be you. And I, to be honest, some of you, Scorpio, I feel like you could be the one giving a friend advice in this reading, which sounds kind of bizarre, but you could give someone advice and you could end up meeting someone in that social circle. As I get that vibe for some of you, but most of you, like I say, it has to do with this person. Yeah. I'm going to just pull out a couple more Oracle cards and we'll wrap this up. Yeah, see, this is, yeah, field of dreams, everything this person could want. See, look at all these eggs hatching. So it's sort of like all the eggs don't hatch at once. You see, so it's just like step by step, constant movement forward. This is what they've been searching for. And they're going to tell you this possibly as well in a communication. You're the kind of person that they want. They see this beautiful empress energy. This person will treat you like a, a goddess. 
Absolutely. But the field of dreams, everything this person could ever want. And I feel it's going to be vice versa. I actually feel there's going to be a lot of attraction here. For some of you, definitely it's already happened. Yeah, see, this person's actually very kind, compassionate. They're a very gentle person. You see, look at that. They're a very gentle person. I feel they might be someone who comes across as a bit stringent, you know, strict. They are. They have a lot of self-discipline because to become an emperor, you have to be that way. So that's where I feel. But they're actually very kind, compassionate. Um, this person may even like gardening, you know, something to do with home. They have a love of home. So I wouldn't even be surprised if this is someone who invites you to their home. They're, they're just so kind and compassionate, so gentle. Like I say, constant flow, movement forward in this lovely energy. They may invite you to their home, cook dinner for you. Um, after this courting period, this person will tell you how they feel. They will tell you okay, that they're, they're in love when that time comes right here. So I don't think they're rushing you. Um, it's an energy of, I feel it's an energy of just going with the flow and, and, and whatever your pace is. They're happy to be friends first, see, to get to know you. So there's no, there's no pressure with this person whatsoever. So beautiful. Take care. Wish you the best and bye for now.